Hello and welcome to this Mitsubishi Electric Quick Tips video. In this video we're going to show you how to install EDS files, how to set the IP address on an MRJ4TM EIP servo drive, and how to set up that servo drive in RSLogix 5000 to work with the AOIs. Open Rockwell Automation's EDS wizard from All Programs, Rockwell Software, RS Links, Tools, EDS Hardware Installation Tools. Once the tool opens, click the Add button. Select Register a Directory of EDS Files and browse to the folder where you unzipped the files. Click Next, and then the next three screens will ask for confirmation of the files to install. So click Next three more times, click Finish, and then Exit. Next, let's launch the IP Config utility from HMS. So go to the Start menu, click on HMS, and then IP Config, and the utility will appear. If you've had any drives connected, you will automatically see them. If not, you can select the Settings window, choose your Ethernet adapter, be sure to broadcast from a specific network interface controller, and hit OK. Then you can hit the Scan button, and that will scan the network for any drives. In this case, we have three of them. Choose a drive. You can see the version number in case you want to use the device keying function in the Rockwell controller. If not, you can double click on one of the drives and select an IP address or configure the IP address. Click the set button when you're finished making your changes. And you can exit. Now let's add the servo drive to the Ethernet IP network. First, under the Ethernet adapter, right-click on the Ethernet icon and click New Module. The list of all the modules that are con configurable will show up, so in the search window, type MR and you'll see the MRJ4TM. Then type a unique name for the axis in the box. In this case, we're typing MRJ4TM1. And then choose Private Network and enter the IP address of the servo drive you want to communicate with. Next, click the change icon down at the bottom, and you can either set the revision to match what was shown in the IP config utility, or in this pull down, you can choose disable keying, and I recommend that because now you don't have to look at the revision number for each drive. Commit the changes with yes. And now choose the connection tab at the top and you can set your RPI or requested packet interval there and click OK. Then hit close and your drive now shows up under the Ethernet IP interface it's attached to. The final step is to establish a link between the J4TM and the AOIs. So the copy data structure is used to move that data. So click on source and when you start configuring your MRJ4 Servo drive, it should come up, you'll get the I data structure. Click the plus and choose data zero for that. And we have to do the same again on the copy uh, instruction. This is gonna copy to the servo drive. So again, click on destination, start typing your servo drive name or choose it from the list and this time choose the drive name colon O. The length should be one. Repeat this procedure for any other servo drives in your system and your configuration is complete. Now that the AOIs are properly communicating with the servo drives, you can add additional AOIs to control the motion of the drives in the section highlighted here that says use the AOIs in this section. It's important to locate your additional AOIs between these two copy blocks to ensure proper data communications. Thank you for watching this Mitsubishi Electric Quick Tips video.